What's up everybody, it's Owen the Nut Scrambler, and today I'm going to be doing an X-Men figure display. Uh, I just took down all my X-Men figures, I'm going to be setting them up for you guys today, and uh, let's just check out what I got so far. Alright guys, so these are all my figures. I got Archangel, Boom Boom, Wolverine, Gambit, Nightcrawler, uh, Multiple Man, um, Kitty Pride, Bishop, Beast, Forge, um, fuck, what's her name? Psylocke, Sunfire, um, Cyclops, um, Jubilee, Magic, and, uh, Blink, and then we got the, uh, Build-A-Figure Sasquatch over here. So this is what we're gonna be working with today. So, uh, let's start this shit off. Alright guys, I'm going to be starting it off with Cyclops here in just this little basic pose. Uh, pretty simple, not too much. Um, I don't know who I'm going to add in next. I was thinking about Beast, but I'm not too sure. I don't know, I kind of like putting my Cyclops uh, front and center just because he's kind of like the leader of the X-Men. But um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do next, so uh, let's see. All right, guys, so I put Sasquatch all the way in the back over here. Just got him in a kind of just basic pose. Um, I'm going to buy the Alpha Flight box set, but for now, I'm just throwing them on my X-Men shelf. Uh, you know, not too special, but uh, that's what we're working with. Hey guys, so we got Jubilee right here. Nice pose. And uh, I don't know where I'm going to put her on the shelf yet, but... Uh, I don't know, we'll wait and see. So I got Archangel here, and I usually just put him on this thumbtack and hang him like that. But I kind of want him, like, swooping down like this. Because I think that would look a lot better. So I'm just going to tie a string around this little pole right here. And uh, hang him up. So we'll, let's see how that looks. Alright guys, so I didn't get him in a swooping pose like I wanted to, but I still think that this looks pretty sick kind of have them out a little more which would be pretty cool so uh i don't know who i'm gonna put up next um probably gonna do bishop and forge because i kind of like them together and maybe i'll throw kitty pride right next to him but uh we'll see all right guys so we got beast on the shelf here kind of like in a walking pose kind of like taking off his uh his professor jacket getting a little angry there got him right next to cyclops uh, i don't know how i'm feeling about it but i'm kind of liking it so far and uh let's just see what we got with the next figure all right guys so we got gambit and jubilee on the shelf here looking pretty tight uh, i'm not really feeling that jubilee pose right now so i might switch it up just a bit but uh we'll, we'll see what's hanging here all right so here we got jubilee now uh feeling this one a little bit more but not too sure i feel like that cape's gonna fall I'm going to have to switch the position, but for right now, this is how I'm going to leave it. Uh, it's kind of looking all right. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it yet, but uh, we'll see. Guys, so I got... Move this shit. All right, guys, so I got Forge and Bishop on the shelf here. I took out the Sasquatch because I just wasn't really feeling it. I don't really know if I want them on my shelf anymore, but uh, we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. But surprisingly, that Jubilee stayed. I might move her back a little or move Gambit back, but uh, I'm not really sure yet. So I think next I'm going to do Multiple Man. And uh, I don't know what pose I'm going to get him in. I might get him in like a superhero landing pose. If you guys know what I mean. Hold, hold up. Superhero pose, but his arm won't go down that far. But I got this pose out of it. I'm not really liking it. It looks alright. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see with this one. We'll have to see. I'm going to pose him around a little bit more and we'll see what's going on. Alright guys, so I fixed up Gambit and Jubilee a little bit. I'm kind of liking this more. Looks a little bit better. Uh, damn, dude, Gambit's jacket just keeps getting in the way. I don't know, it's just annoying me. I might buy the Mezco Gambit, but, um, I'm not really sure yet. I'm not liking how his foot's, like, hanging off the shelf, so I might fix that, too. But, uh, we still got multiple man here, and I'm not sure what to do with him. I don't know, I might just throw him in the back somewhere. I don't know, we'll have to see. But, uh, let's find the next fig. Alright, guys, so I actually got Nightcrawler on the shelf here, and I, I used that Mezco, like, magnet thing. That will just stick around his waist and then just stick onto the uh, onto the um, metal strip back there. I think it looks pretty tight, actually. And I added some uh, some fluff from a stuffed animal behind him for like a little like cloud effect, 
which I think looks pretty freaking cool. So uh, this is how it's coming along so far, but uh, let, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right, guys. So I got uh, Wolverine on like this little metal stand thing that I made. I sticky tacked it down. I sticky tacked it down because it wouldn't stay too good. Uh, it looks kind of ghetto, but like it works. It uh, from afar doesn't look too bad, but it's like eh, it's like whatever. Um, I'm liking it though, and uh, as you saw back as there, as you saw back here, I got the AOA Wolverine. I don't really know where to put them right now, and I don't want them like sitting on the ground. So I'm gonna throw them back there, and I'm also gonna throw them back there with Blink. Got her in this sweet little pose right now, and I uh, got her little portal effect. Not really sure where I'm gonna put this, but um, we're gonna figure it out. I was thinking like around right next to Nightcrawler maybe. But um, I'm gonna play around with it and we'll see what's going on. So there you go. I got Blink on the shelf right there, along with Wolvie. Just throw them in the back, just something, you know, keep it a little uh, out there. But uh, next I think I'm gonna do Psylocke, which will be pretty dope. So we'll see where I can get her at. So uh, let's pose her up first. All right, guys. So this is the pose I'm going with, like a little back turn kind of look. I don't know where I'm going to put her yet. I'm probably going to put her in the middle of Beast and uh, Cyclops, like right around there. Or next to Wolverine. But um, let's just see how she looks. Um, no, I'm not really feeling that. Maybe back here. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Alright, so I'm digging that. Next, let's do Sunfire. This is one of my favorite figures right here. I love this Sunfire figure. Uh, let's pose him up and see what kind of things that we can do with him. Alright guys, so I got Sunfire on the shelf on one of those Hasbro stands that came with the Black Widow. And I'm thinking he's looking sick. I'm really liking that a lot. So I'm digging that. And next, I'm going to throw on Kitty Pride, And then we're going to try Multiple Man here. Which I have no freaking clue where I'm going to put them. Over here we still got Boom Boom to put on. And we still got Magic. So let's see what we can do here. So it's looking pretty tight. I'm liking it a lot. I got Multiple Man back there in between Forge and Bishop. And then we got Boom Boom just chilling right there. Now I'm going to try and throw on Kitty Pride. I was thinking about putting her on that tack just like floating or something. But I'm not really too sure yet because she don't really uh, fly there. At least I don't think so. But, um, I'm not really sure. I might just put her in the back over there. But yet, we still got magic. And I don't really like all the women mixed up too much. So, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here. I might leave magic out. I'm not really sure. I might have to leave this build a figure out, which I'm, like, hesitant about. But, um, I'm sure we'll find a place for Kitty Pride. All right, guys, we got Kitty Pride here. I just put her in this basic kind of just standing position. And I also found room for Magic and for um, Sasquatch back there. I'm going to take out this tack so it doesn't look so uh, so dumb. And then uh, we're going to throw Kitty Pride right back there in between Sasquatch and Boom Boom. Just see how it looks. All right, guys, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot with that Kitty Pride pose. I kind of want to turn her a bit. So she's kind of looking the other way. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Come on, Kitty Pride. Just stand, just stand there. Boom! And there we go, guys. My new X-Men setup. It's looking pretty sick. Just give you a little rundown of it here. It's looking tight, looking tight. Throw them right in there. This isn't the one that came with Kitty Pride. I actually bought Kitty Pride loose. It's the one that came with Magic, so we'll just leave them right there. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you want to see me redo any of my other shelves, just let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.